Um, differential equation, to define it, basically is an equation that contains the derivatives. Now, ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin is kukuha tayo ng mga function or differential equations na kung saan gagamitan natin siya ng mga integral rules sa pag-evaluate ng mga nasabing mga functions. Sa example number one, let's try to find all the function y that satisfy dy over dx equal to e to the x minus 6x squared. So, ito yung ating derivative, basically and we need to find the value of y and to do that, we need to integrate both sides ng ating equation. So, kapag nag-integrate tayo ng both sides ng equation, ang gagawin lang natin para makakuha tayo ng integral nitong e to the x minus 6x squared, e i-transfer yung ating dx or yung denominator dito sa ating kabilang equation. So, para ka nag-cross multiply para makapag integrate ka ng inyong dalawang side. So, so to integrate both sides of your equation, so, you have the integral of dy, since dy na lang yung natitira, kasi si dx nilipat nyo dun sa second um, part ng equation. So, you have the integral of e to the x minus 6x squared dx. So, ang nangyari dito sa step na to, sa ating differential equation, is pinagpalit natin si dx papunta dun sa kabilang side ng equation para ma-integrate natin sila separately. So, now we have the integral of dy equal to the integral of this function, dx. And the integral of dy is just y. At yung integral naman ng e to the x minus 6x squared dx is e to the x minus 6x cubed all over 3 plus c. Now, ipag, pag nasimplify na natin tong function na to, we'll have y equal to e to the x minus 2x cubed plus c. At yan yung pinaka-basic na example na kung saan nag evaluate tayo ng differential equation. So, ito yung tinatawag natin general solution to the differential equation kasi meron tayong dy dx or yung derivative equal to the function e to the x minus 6x squared. So ito yung isa sa mga example ng differential equation or evaluating differential equation. Now, sa second example naman, gagamitin uli natin yung function na ginamit natin doon sa first slide. So now, the question is to find a unique solution to the equation dy or over dx equal to e to the x minus 6x squared whose graph passes through point 1 and 0. So this time naman, kailangan natin ng specific equation mula sa ating differential equation na kung saan yung daw equation na yun ay magpapas through the point 1 and 0. So yung una nating step is to evaluate our differential equation using the integration. So we have dy over dx equal to e to the x minus 6x squared. Integrate nyo yung both sides, pero bago nyo i-integrate, kailangan si dx na ilipat nyo na doon sa kabilang side ng equation. So you have the integral of dy and the integral of e to the x minus 6x squared dx. Ang integral ng dy ay y, at ang integral nitong function na ito ay e to the x minus 2x cubed plus c. Now, since yung ating specific equation ay nagpa-pass through the point 1 and 0, sa second step, i-evaluate lang natin itong function na ito, which is our function y, dun sa point na 1 and 0. And to do that, yung ating y equals e to the x minus 2x cubed plus c, papalitan lang natin si y, ng 0 at yung mga x's ng 1. And then simplify natin para makuha natin yung value ng c. So you'll have 0 equal to e to the 1 minus 2 times 1 cubed plus c which gives you 0 equal to e minus 2 plus c which gives you c equal to negative e plus 2. So ngayong nakuha na natin yung value ng c or specific value ng c which is negative e plus 2 at yung mula sa step 1 nakuha natin yung general function na e to the x minus 2 x q plus c yung step number 3 natin is i-complete yung ating task which is to find that spe specific equation na nagpa-pass through the point 1 and 0 and to do that yung ating equation na y equals e to the x minus 2x cubed plus c mula sa step number 2 will be, um, or we will replace c by negative e plus 2. Kaya yung ating equation ngayon will be y equals e to the negative x minus 2x cubed at yung c, papalitan na natin siya ng negative e plus 2. Now, to simplify your result, yung ating equation na hinahanap o yung unique solution na hinahanap natin dun sa example number 2 will be y equal to e to the x minus 2x cubed plus 2 minus e. At yan yung ating second example. Now, do sa ating third example naman, mag-verify naman tayo ng mga differential equation given dun sa ating susunod na problem.
Now, sa example na ito, kailangan daw natin i-determine whether the function is a solution of the differential equation y double prime minus y equal to 0. So, yung una nating set ng function will have y equal to 4e to the negative x. Yung pangalawang set naman is y equal to sine x. At yung pangatlo is y equal to c times e to the negative x. At yung bawat equation na yan, eh, kailangan daw natin tingnan kung masasatisfy siya dun sa differential equation natin na y double prime minus y equal to 0. Now, ang una nating step na gagawin, magpo-focus tayo dun sa first equation which is y equal to 4 e to the negative x is to find the first and the second derivative ng ating original function. So, yung ating y which is 4 e to the negative x has a first derivative of negative 4 e to the negative x at yung second derivative naman niya is y double pr prime equal to 4 e to the negative x. Now, to determine whether itong ating differential equation ay solution doon sa y double prime minus y equal to 0, is set natin yung y double prime, which is 4e to the negative x, subtract it from y, which is 4e to the negative x. So, we'll have y or 4e to the negative x minus 4e to the negative x equal to 0. At pag kinomplete natin yung ating solution, alam natin na magka-cancel out sila which is equal to 0. Therefore, yung ating first set ng equation natin is said to be or verified na solution ng ating differential equation na y double prime minus y equal to 0. Kasi nag-equal to 0 or nagparehas yung left side doon sa right side. Now, let's verify the second function which is y equal to sine x. So, yung una natin gagawin is to find the first derivative ng sine x which is cosine x. At yung second derivative ng ating cosine x will be negative sine x. Now, to verify the solution para sa y double prime minus y equals 0, iset up lang natin yung ating mga solution. So, you'll have negative sine x minus sine x equal to 0. And if we simplify yung ating left-hand side ng equation, we'll have 2 sine x or negative 2 sine x, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, yung ating second equation ng ating problem is not a solution ng ating differential equation na y double prime minus y equal to 0. And to verify our third equation, which is y equal to e to the c, or c times e to the negative x, we'll find the first derivative, and the first derivative of that function will be negative c e to the negative x. At yung ating second derivative ng function na yan will be positive c times e to the negative x. Now, tulad ng ginawa natin sa dalawang, sa dalawang example, kailangan lang natin siyang isubstitute doon sa ating differential equation to check whether it's going to give us a 0 kapag in-evaluate natin. And true to that equation, 0 is equal to 0 kasi c e to the negative x minus c e to the negative x is equal to 0. Therefore, yung ating third equation ay nasatisfy yung ating differential equation na y double prime minus y which is equal to 0. At yan yung mga examples natin ng differential equation.